I truly believe that this will provide a good framework for coherent and indeed um, consistent leadership to be shown in this, in this area in universities. So obviously every instance is slightly different and you cannot possibly provide a set of guidelines that would deal with every um, every incident of, of harassment or hate crime or sexual violence. But what you can do is you can provide um, substantial guidelines, you can talk about experience, you can advise about partnership working not only with, uh, between the university and the student body but also you know, with the police and other community groups. You can, you can um, provide um, case studies which, uh, which represent considerable success in this area by a number of institutions. You can also provide expert organisations to which university leadership can turn in order to make sure that they are um, getting the best possible advice. Today we've seen some 200 delegates from over 100 universities attend this conference. Um, the task force has only been in operation for a year and I think this already shows the degree to which we are uh, um, raising the attention of, 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 of these issues amongst the university sector. And every one of these universities is then taking those issues away and raising these issues uh, and the awareness of these issues in their local regions and their cities. So this is beginning to have real impact, but it doesn't stop here. We're going to meet again next year and the year after and the year after that because the, the work of the task force has just begun. Culture change takes time and we need to work at it, we need to monitor it, we need to look at where it's going well, we need to iterate it where it's not going so well. But together we can bring about this sort of change.